finance and CEO of Conductor Software. We had a great question raised in the chat during our webinar last week from Anthony, who asked, when you say engagement is dead, do you also include newly globally invigorated diversity, equity and inclusion initiatives? And another participant who also raised a similar question around uh, well-being initiatives in the workplace. I think we're at great risk that diversity, equity and inclusion and even well-being as we come out of COVID uh, may be perceived simply as tokenistic attempts to make change without really seeing any systemic changes occurring within organisations. It's one thing to set targets and to increase the diversity, but if people coming into those roles don't feel safe enough to contribute, don't feel safe enough to, to, uh, to share their experiences, to raise concerns, to make a mistake, then diversity isn't going to have the outcomes that we're looking for. We're simply bringing people into unsafe environments and they won't stay, they'll eventually end up leaving. So we won't hit those targets. So it's important that we understand what's really at the root cause and to have some transparency through an organization where these issues are occurring. Where are we seeing in teams and in leaders who are feeling challenged by these changes or whose behaviors and beliefs may need some support to unpack them and help them to be more self-aware and understanding of how their approach could be uh, a triggering uh, threat responses in others around them. It needs a very considered approach and we then need to have a way to help them understand how it really is impacting their financial performance. And I think that's a fundamentally key through any of the programs and why so many of them don't have the outcomes that we're looking for because you're not getting buy-in from the people who need to understand this is actually impacting their business performance. When we can help leaders to see that, then it creates a, a very different conversation, a very different strategy and a very different focus by helping them to understand the impact it's having on their business. So I think unless we start to to look at these issues and address them from a broader perspective with a lot more transparency, then unfortunately we are at risk that they will travel down the same path as engagement. And in 20 years time, we'll look back and see that we still haven't made movement in these areas. So I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear your experiences and what you think. Do you think that they're destined to go down the path of engagement? Uh, how are you finding organisations approaching these issues? Are they fully committed to seeing change when it comes to diversity, equity and inclusion? I know organisations are heavily focused on well-being at the moment, but I think even being able to show organisations and leaders how well-being is affected by these issues is critically important. And I think this all starts with understanding uh, psychological safety, seeing those pockets in organisations where people don't feel safe enough to contribute, don't feel included, don't feel like they belong, and don't feel like they are able to have a voice in the organisation. I'd love to get your, your thoughts and to be part of the conversation. So join us here, put your comments in the boxes below. Talk soon.